guys, I'm Cory Oliver. Thanks for watching The Coriolis Effect. Please hit the subscribe button below, and we hope you like this episode. Shieldsofstrength.com was created by Kenny Vaughn. Kenny loves to keep God and country close to your heart by wearing Shields of Strength American flag dog tags. These attractive pieces of Christian jewelry are available in a range of styles and shapes, and some have enamel detailing to bring vibrant colors to the stars and stripes motif. Each dog tag necklace features an engraved scripture to bring strength and comfort to the wearer, making it an excellent gift idea for police officers, soldiers, and firefighters who face adversity in the call of duty or anyone with a strong sense of patriotism. Stainless steel American flag necklaces and dog tags are easy to clean, are stylish enough for wearing with any outfit, and are the perfect way to express love for your country and unshakable faith in God. Shieldsofstrength.com has a variety of cross necklaces, books, apparels, accessory, Mother's Day gifts, fitness, even gift certificates. Shop Shieldsofstrength.com. Are you looking for enlightenment in your life? Trying to find a purpose? Well, you might be in the wrong place, but while you're here, join the Really Mature Men, two lads from Melbourne as they give their unsolicited and certified takes on hot and controversial topics. Join them for a laugh and visit them on their Instagram page at Really Mature Men. I repeat, at Really Mature Men. They stream on all platforms. Just type ignorance with logic, and in two magical clicks, you're there like that. You're there like that. Wait, you're there like that. Good morning, Bob. Good morning, Corey. How are you? I'm really well. I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing very well. Thank you. What's new I'm in your day? I wonder why I'm in an entire sequin, sequin dress. Yeah. Dress the today. Uh, Corey, why are you wearing a sequin dress? Well, today? first of all, my very dear friend gave this to me, and I love it. And secondly, I have we have Paul Atu, who is a uh, designer to the stars, right. on the show today with his husband Patrick Simpson, uh, and. So I wanted to kind of dress up a little bit, and I thought, this is colorful, and it's beautiful, and it's springtime. It's it's arguably coral. I see it as coral. I don't know what color you see it, but it's I do want to say also, right? that I found, uh, and people ask me all the time, like, what color lipstick are you wearing in this episode, or what whatever in this episode? And so I just want to say this up front. This is um, MAC, and I matched it with my dress, and it's a limited edition one, so of course you probably can't get it anymore. But I can't even read it because my glasses. The writing on no, I can't. The writing on that is so small. What I do is uh, I take a picture of it and then I oh, zoom well, the picture. I'm, so I'm talking yeah. about so I'm going to do that today because people are always asking me what I'm wearing, and I want to just stay at a front. This is the color, and I do like the color. It's a good spring color. Yeah. Um, but I do how, that when you get you? like when you get like new routers and stuff, and you have to type in the SSID codes. Yeah. You literally have to take a picture yeah. of it and blow it up because it's so small. Oh, it's called Vanity Bonfire, and it's um, number four seventeen by Mac. Now let me ask you seriously: When you go to dinner and get the menu, do you use your phone and blow it up so you can read the menu too? I don't actually. Most of the time, I'll bring glasses, but I don't. But I I'll be honest. It's like this year is the first year that I've had to have reading glasses. Which have lasted some years. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I usually the restaurants are dark, so I usually use yeah. the light on my phone because you can't read those yeah. at all. I mean, we're all trying to magnify yeah. everything. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's like, "Who's got the readers? Yeah. Who's got the readers?" Which, by the way, you can get them at ninety nine cent store. Uh, I do know that because I have about thirty of them in my house. Now, you know, I suffer from CDO, right? CDO is a very advanced stage of OCD, but I have to put the letters in alphabetical order. Um, so I have readers, and what I do is, in my office and in my studio, I have two computer stations in each one, and they do various things. So I'll have a pair of glasses at each station, and then I have one by my bed. I have one in the uh, in the bathroom in case I want to read on the whatever. Um, but I'm so OCD that if I'm sitting at one station with my glasses and I have to go to the other station, I will take those glasses off, put them down. Set at the second station, put those on, and then put it. That's really a lot of. I have never lost my car keys. I've mm -hmm. never. I always have glasses wearing them. Wow. When I was practicing, I had a staff, and they would take things from like the copy room. They take the stapler, so I'm in there in the morning trying to get to court, and I'm like, and I can't find a stapler, and I just lose it. So I went out and bought like 20 staplers and put it everywhere. They would still do it. So one day I come in, and the copy room stapler is gone, and I'm just forget. It. I'm not. I, I want to know who's got the copy room stapler. And all five of them said, well, not me. I said, okay, I know which one it is. 
So I'm going to go to each of your offices and desks and find out. And they still denied it. And I found out who it was because I wrote copy room on the bottom of it where they don't know, like, where it closes. So I find out. Yeah. Hilarious. I, I've had people misfiling deadlines. I don't get mad. You put a red cap on a blue pen, ah, you're dead to me. Wow. I, I don't understand wow. how it could happen. Note to self. Yeah. <laughs> don't. I don't have any pens, thank goodness. No, my my um, secretary was sitting in the outer office, and out of my office comes his pen flying into the... Uh, and there was a client in the client chair saying, what was that? Uh, somebody put a red cap on a blue pen. Mr. Victor doesn't like that. I'm just taking it and throw it out of my office. I couldn't believe people would do that. Wow. So just be careful. Yes. Um, I think we'll, with our next guest, we might talk about this a little bit, but, um, you know, uh, topics, hot topics of the day. Uh, as I was driving over here, I saw the news release. And I always preface this by saying that in two weeks when it, it'll be something else, but it'll be old news, right? right. Um, but Colton from The Bachelor has come out. And as homosexual? Yes. Wow. He's, he's, yeah, I guess and he was the out. bachelor choosing the, the woman, bachelor. right? So he just figured it out, I guess. So I thought that was kind of interesting news. No, I don't have an opinion one way or the other. Do you I, think he didn't know while he was filming The Bachelor? I don't know. I actually didn't see that season. Um, you know, I've, I've gotten to my little point in my life where I'd like to see older couples, you know? They're all young. I'd well, like they're, they're all eye candy for the uh, viewers. Right, but yeah. right. But, um, so you want like a silver singles bachelor? No, I'm just saying like maybe I should get a bachelor. I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm just kidding. Um, so yeah, it turns out I'm having another hot flash, and I don't know. They just come on, and it, you just yeah, like, start. That, to that's what they are. Yeah. And it's just, it's like oh, not unbelievable. Can you see it? No. Oh. Well, you talk about it all the time, so. I do? Yeah. Well, you can't not. It's like somebody injecting hot water through your body, and you're just... I used to say to my friends, oh, come on, how hard can it be? You've, I've had a baby with no medication. And it's it's a real thing. Right. Like, it just... You just get... You just... You just sweat. I don't know how you women do it. I don't know. I don't know, but I'm still yeah, you know, standing. I, I'm still standing. You know why women have the babies, right? Because they're far superior. That and if men if men had them, the species would have died out a long, a long time, time ago. ago. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been the end. No way, men. And, and it is very common because I know a lot of guys who are like this who, yeah, they're in the military or they're just tough guys. You can chop their arm off and they'll keep fighting. But man, they get a cold and they are in bed. Like I need soup. I'm dying. So this is true. This is true. Right. Yeah. So well, I'm really excited about our guests. They're high energy. They're fun. They're fabulous. I've known them for many years. They came on to Beverly Hills Pond uh, in an episode. They were looking for a beautiful bling color for Snow White. They have a dog who's just the sweetest little okay. Maltese poo. And um, she doesn't like just anybody, by the way. She's Does she like you? me, yes, because I've watched her several times. Um, You're the hand that feeds her? Yes. Uh, however, she um, she's, can be a little snarly. She's very, you know, she's got a uh, 35,000 followers on her Instagram page. She's yeah. a Maltese and a poodle. So I don't know. Five I'm pounds? just saying that. She's not even. She's probably a pound. She's this big. How nasty can a pound dog be? <laughs> she's... <laughs> <laughs> um, but they're fun. They do a lot of great things. And they do a lot of charity work. Which is one of the reasons why I love both of them. They really do. And they're in Beverly Hills, right? They're in Beverly Hills. He's Holla too. Right. And I wonder if their store is still open. Well, we'll talk to him about it. I think that it is. It was vandalized during the riots oh, uh, in COVID. Uh, but we'll find out. Um, I do know they're very busy right now because weddings are starting to come up and parties are starting to happen again. So Paul Atu uh, Designs, he actually did a dress for me for um, the Critics' Choice Awards. Uh, the one that's on the screen right now? Yes. Right. Where are you putting it? No, up, up to right the right. There, right here. Very right. Um, screen right. Right. Stage right. And... Um, and he made my daughter's eighth grade dress, and he's just a wonderful, kind person. Um, but he's been a celebrity designer for years, over 25 years. He's wow. been in Beverly Hills with a storefront. That says a lot. Yeah. Um, he hand makes every dress. By himself? Yes, by himself. And let me tell you something. This man is up at 3 in the morning making your your designs. If he's got a deadline, he makes it. He's just a wonderful human being. Um so I'm excited to talk to them and see what's going on. They have a show called Gown and Out in Beverly Hills on their third season. Uh, which Gown I, and Out in Beverly Hills. Yeah, and if you watched, you know. All your shows have Beverly Hills in the title. 
It Beverly Hills Bomb, Beverly Hills, Hills Pond, down and out Beverly, down and out Beverly Hills. I don't know why. Maybe we should have named this Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills. Bob. We're not. We're anywhere near Beverly Hills. We're not. Yeah. It's, or as my wife says, Beverly Hills ninety two ten. That's right. So uh, yeah, I'm excited for you to meet them. They've been friends of mine for a long Can't time. Wait. Yeah, I'm excited for them to meet you because they, they're like, who's this Bob that you speak of? That speaks of, of whom you speak. Of whom you speak. Of whom he speaks. <laughs> so they speak in the Bible terms. <laughs> exactly. Yes. yes. Uh, so yeah, I'm. I'm excited. How about you? Anything I'm, going on in your life? Are you in trouble? Are you good? I'm always in trouble. Okay. But, <laughs> I don't know. I love the I, Bob Irina stories. I'm I always did, take her side, by the way. But I did learn one thing. Uh, you know, when you count to ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. My wife counts one a million. So if she tells you to do something and you do don't it. do it, and then she tells you the second time, I told you a million times. No, you told me twice. Uh, yep, one and then a million. I'm like, you know, there's a lot of numbers between one and a million. I told you a million times. So one day I calculated it. I was like, you know, if you told me once every three seconds for 10 years, you still wouldn't be at a million. So, but you go figure that. So my ex-husband. Um, Which one? I don't qualify them with the number now, uh, the first. He uh, had a funny sense of humor, and he he hates being told what to do. <clears throat> Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry. We need to get you a cough button. I know. And um, so I asked him to take the trash out. I don't know why. I just was like, oh, I can take the trash out. And he uh, it was like, why is that my job? Why is that a man's job? One of this whole long diatribe. And so I went outside and got the big giant trash can, and I brought it in to the kitchen. <laughs> and so when and he's got the sense of humor, or you have the sense I of humor. I do. <laughs> we both did. But um, he literally walked by and he was like, "Oh my gosh, you're hilarious, Corey." But um, yeah, I don't. Yeah, that was Kim uh, Jim Carrey's problem in his first marriage. He he, I I believe this story is right. He would met his first marriage like in high school or something. They married for a while, and then he was doing Batman, making like ten twenty million dollars a movie. Came home after on set for like seventeen hours, and his wife said, Could you "Take the trash out." And he's like. No, I'm. I just work for seventeen okay. hours. I'm. I'm. No, uh, the Joker, not the Joker, the Riddler, and I made twenty million dollars. And said, "Can't somebody else take the trash?" And he said that was one of the reasons why he left his first wife, which wow. I doubt. Wow. Wow. So, I mean, that's just. Ridiculous. But he's got a point. No. You, if you're filming a movie and you're making twenty million dollars, I can't hire a personal assistant to take the trash out. Yeah, you could. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't even know why I asked. I was just kind of like, oh, hey, but you know. By the way, the sign of old age is the older you get, the more you pay other people to do the things that you normally would have done. I see. I see. Right. I'm not there yet. No, no, no. <laughs> Hopefully not. <laughs> Let me know how that goes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'm excited about our show today. Me too. All right. Thank you, Bob. It's good to see you. It's good to see you, and I will see you again in about, uh, about two minutes. Feeling hungry for new ideas? Uninspired? Or do you just want to hear talking while you're busy? Listen to the Creative Cast podcast. Lucas Homan and Morgan Banks go on the hunt for exciting interviews, share ideas and projects, and celebrate the creativity within all of us. New episodes are released every Sunday. That's the Creative Cast podcast, C-R-E-A-T-I-V-C-A-S-T, -E on Apple Podcasts. Let's start the show. Let's start the show. Whoa, today. Turn your phone off. Today is... No one's um, calling me. I, I love these guys. I really do. Um... We're just taking a momentary pause so Paul can turn his phone off because he's a very coveted people, man in Hollywood and in Beverly Hills. The show, Corey. I know. I'm so sorry, you guys. Um, <laughs> I, I want to say uh, I have two very dear friends um, of mine on the show today and on the podcast, which is Paula too, and Patrick. Patrick. Yes. Simpson. It which, took me ten years to learn how to say <laughs> it. Finally figure no. out how to say my name. Corey was saying it wrong up until five minutes ago. <laughs> it was. You know what? It takes a minute to be able to learn how to say Patrick. Patrick and Patrick. Patrick. Yeah. The only thing I know in French is mon cœur et tu avec It's toi. German. It's not it's French. German. Okay. Well then. <laughs> That's <laughs> even worse. Do you see what you just did to yourself? Do you see it. what I have to deal with for how many <laughs> years now? I do it every day. I literally do this every day. Well, I'm sorry I've been pronouncing your name wrong, Sorry. but I want to just say this to our listeners. I, just say, I have to turn the gain way down. It's very loud in this room. Is that, okay, yeah, it's going to be high energy. Fine. Keep going. I'll turn it down. Um, I met Paul and Patrick. Why on... is this guy here? Who is this? He's man? my producer. Anyway, <laughs> Why is he in the room? He's he's don't a pro... pay any attention to that man behind the curtain. <laughs> he's the producer, but he's like Charlie's angel. You never see his face, but he's really the ge the Charlie. genius, the genius, the genius behind it all. The genius. Um, no, we we came up with this concept and Madame. 
a month and a half ago, almost two months ago, and it's been really great. But um, to our point today, because I want to stick to you guys, we we have limited time. Um, I met Paul and Patrick on the set. Patrick, (laughs) yes. He's a bitch, Corey. He's a bitch. Can I say that? You see what I've had to deal with and, and I still have to deal with. You know the funny thing is? Whenever someone, I have a text and I have a pre-conditioned uh, uh, text that yes. if someone spells my name wrong, it auto, I do an auto back. Sorry, but my name is P-A-T-R-I-K. Okay. No C in my name. Smiley face. Well, just to, just to <laughs> clarify though, Pat, Patrick, if you say it like, like Patrick, 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 it, it does sound French. Push. Patrick. It does sound with, French though. Patrick. No, no. <laughs> I mean, German no. would be like... Pat- 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 German. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, <laughs> back to... Um, Sorry, I know my you parents wanna... are German. Listen, I know I know you've worked on a, on a script to be able no, to, to stick no with... No, I have no script. But there is no way you were going to stay on track with this I story. don't work on scripts with you guys, and I really don't in general. I'm just I'm just like want to get out how I know you Even and how... Even during your movies, you don't work on scripts. Well, I... I <laughs> <laughs> well, I remember the God movie. Oh, my God. Let her say how we uh, met. Oh, no, you guys. First, uh, introduce him again. I remember the God movie. Yeah. Paul, I love you. You were God. No, no. I'm not God. Oh, in God's Not Dead. Or, I was, God's dead, or God dead. is Dead. What God's are, Not Dead. I God's played Mina. Yeah. Yeah. Kevin God's Sorbo's Not love Dead. Interest. Yes. Yeah, yes. Kevin Sorbo's lover. Yes. Love yeah. interest. Love love interest. interest. Oh, my God. Well, thing. what's the difference? <laughs> I didn't see you do anything with him anyway, so it's not like I would makes Corey blush and the other doesn't. Well, the, well, she's the, wearing a salmon colored dress, so it's you. hard to I see. I wanted the blush. you to notice because I got. See, you guys okay. were saying salmon. I thought it was red. First no, of all, I'm going to raise my line. hand to speak. <laughs> we'll get a talking stick. It's actually coral, just to, so you know. But Who I want to. It's coral. It's coral I want to make. I want to make a, a distinction here that when they showed up, I picked this out because it's colorful, and I know that you have this beautiful. Um, Paula two designs it on Beverly uh, in Beverly Hills. I'm and still there. He's still there 20 something years later. Yeah. And we're going to talk about that. But Snow White, their dog, for those of you who are on podcasts, you can't see the bow in her hair. <laughs> exactly matches my. Um, so her and I are simpatico today. This and is I wore pink. I never wear pink. I, I always wear, wear pink. blue. I'm wearing pink. So before we start the show, it's kismet. It is. Oh, so, so three of you bitches <laughs> decided to match, and I'm in red. You always wear red. Exactly. You're wearing Lady in red. On your, on your so before yeah. we start the show, that we have a word of the day that Bob likes to interject. And he Ooh. is really good about it. And he always comes up with the most amazing words. And they're usually phobias. So. Is this that same always guy phobias. that we, happened to, you, to be Bob? here that we decided yeah. that why is he yes. behind the curtain? Yes. Okay. All right. Here's a word of the day for you. <laughs> Machiaphobia. Machiaphobia. M-A-Q-U-I-L-L-A phobia. Oh, I know what it is. What? Fear of the Macintosh. No. That's no. a good guess, though. Are we, suppo- are we supposed to guess? <laughs> You have a buzzer now. Yes, we're supposed to guess. <laughs> oh my yes, gosh. what is Machiavo? It pertains to the two of you. Oh, we're hot. <laughs> <laughs> Machiaphobia. And your profession. Oh. Oh, a macrame designer. No. Yeah, fear of macrame designer. You got it right. Oh, and you said I'm a dumb. Oh, I got it wrong. He's behind the curtain. <laughs> How do you listen to him? It's That's not even a word. Paul, do you have a guess? No. Uh, it's the fear of makeup. Oh. Why do you have why that? Why would it be makeup phobia? I don't know. Would it be makeup phobia, not macaphobia? Makeup phobia? Um, <laughs> so, I was going to say that, but then you tricked me when I you thought said. thought it was the fear of mannequins, but no. No, but then you tricked me and you said it has to do with what you do, and I'm like. Don't you make up people? I don't do makeup. Oh, oh. No, he does. He, 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 he fashion makes. Design. Okay, so. I make clothes. He needs to go be- back I'm just behind trying the curtain. To tell we already do. did the fear of clothes. Well, my second guess episode. was macaroni and cheese. So <laughs> I, yeah. that's a good. The mac yeah, was well, a okay. Mac hold on. Can we pick another? One. Can we pick another word of the day? No, you get one word a day. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Yeah, I can do this one. Adophobia. Oh, Adophobia. A D I phobia or A D A phobia. Yeah, yeah, you're you, really you know killing me with that. That's Adophobia. Yeah. Adophobia. Uh, Corey does not have this. Hey, Siri. No, 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 no. What is adophobia? What is it? Yeah, no, no, close, close. Uh, I can't sing. No, oh it's, it's, it's the fear of even cheating. You're not fear of, fear uh, of advertising singing. agency. It's the fear of singing. Oh, I got sorry. it right. Oh, you I sing. Got it right. What'd you sing? I do so she, sing. I said she does not have that. I don't oh. have the fear of it. I have a. I literally have a whole you know karaoke thing going on. But um, Paul sings too, but horribly. I might add. I don't think so. Oh, I think yeah. you sing really well. Yeah, no, really bad. I think I'm a very <laughs> special singer for those that can't hear. <laughs> 
That's awesome. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Well, I want to tell our listeners, if I may, <laughs> um, how we met sure. and what you, what you guys do and what's going on in your lives. Because <laughs> we've been friends for about... Ten, Child was ten, ten years. Time. Yeah, because it's a long time, yeah, and long. and I'm grateful for that friendship. Ten, year, ten years in Hollywood is a lifetime. It really is. It, is it actually is. And and Paul um, is a designer to the stars. You've designed. You were actually Anna Nicole Smith's personal designer. Um, you've 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 styled everybody. The list goes on and on, and you can talk a little bit about that. And Patrick was an agent for many many years, and they now are together working on on your third season. A yes. show called Gown and Out, Gown and Out in Beverly Hills. Yes. It's awesome and amazing. You have now submitted for, you know, to be able to be up for five Emmys. Yep. You're on Amazon. Yep. Amazon Prime on Video. Amazon Prime Worldwide. Video. Yep. And I... And we want, we just got nominated by the American Reality Television Awards as Best Digital Reality Series. Wow. So that's pretty exciting. That's right, bitches! Yeah. Can I say that? I'm, I I'm, love this episode. Corey's not going to get a word in edge. No, <laughs> that's fine. I just want to adequately... I, I, I did take three breaths. Oh. I mean, seriously. Well, go, I'm, Corey, go! I Open just want to tell Drink. people that <laughs> I met them on the set of Beverly Hills Pond. Yes. We did a scene together, Yep. and I just love them. They were so kind and sweet and, and just amazing and snow white of course came which is their dog if you're only watching the podcast i encourage you to switch on over after you're done with the podcast and check them out on the youtube well, that's, on we the got YouTube. her a that's when we got her the 10 carat diamond necklace the yes. 10 carat diamond necklace there's an episode we could probably show a little bit of that episode in this episode but shortly after paul was gracious enough one of the things i'm going to say and please i i'm going to ask that i don't get interrupted during this one moment and i've never asked that before but i want to i want to talk a little bit about you for a second you are one of the kindest people I know. When anyone calls you, you are there and you make a dress for them. And it doesn't matter if you have to stay up till three in the morning to do it, you do it. You've done it for me twice. You did the Critics' Choice Awards. We'll yeah. put a photo up um, last minute. You did that for me. And, I, and I'll never forget this because I know how busy you are. You are very coveted in, in the industry and people want you to style for them all the time. Um, but you, you did my daughter's eighth grade dress. And you it was the most beautiful dress. I'll try to find a picture of it. But it's like you don't say no. And you overextend yourself. And you, you work with charities and people that need things. And you're just amazing, Paul and Patrick. And Patrick's usually there finding these people for it, right? And you you just are what one of... What is that roll I roll for? Of course I'm... There's the dress right there. Yes. Gorgeous. You're, you're one of the kindest people. So I want to say, oh. I, if I haven't thanked you adequately enough for all the times you've come through for me, I'm doing it right here, right now. Like, I'm grateful. And I probably speak on behalf of many people. Um, and your designs are beautiful. And you just... You love, oh, so sweet love you what you do. say that. Oh. oh, my God. I have such a passion for what I do. You but do. I love the people that I work with. And I think... You know, being a friend to you and extending a friendship and being involved in each other's lives the way we have. How do you say no when you call me at three o'clock in the morning? <laughs> like, seriously. It's so weird because we we meet a lot of celebrities and then we do dresses for them and then they just wind up being our friends. Yeah. It's really yeah. crazy. We just keep these relationships going. The list gets bigger. I know. And now you guys are doing your own show. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about how that came about, the gown and out in Beverly Hills. I know you guys have gone through a lot with the COVID and everything. And just tell me tell me about gown and out in Beverly Hills. That started before COVID, obviously. Yeah, gown and out in Beverly Hills actually started by accident. Uh, he was bringing all these celebrities in and doing fittings with them. And they always talk whenever they come in. Like Betty White would come in and just be babbling well, about things. Well, besides the fact that she would always kidnap and, the puppy. Yeah. yeah. So, She's so sweet, isn't she? I mean, she would just want to put yeah. her in a 99. Out. I know. I did her makeup on Home and family years ago when she was like 88 she's amazing and and so all these people come in and they talk to him like paul's like their therapist not just their fashion designer oh yeah so i'm like i'm just gonna pick up my phone and start filming so i started filming with my iphone and then we put it on youtube we got millions and millions of hits and it started out as like a three to seven minute webisode series and then next thing... I think the reason why it started is because he wanted to make everybody see what a bitch I really am <laughs> and how I would always mask it really well because he would say, oh, only if the cameras were on, you would get to see him. That, but guess what happened that, now? That is true, actually. That no, was my whole thing. you don't see me being like that because I'm the <laughs> nicest person. I know. You, you just are. heard her say that. I know. It's all an act, you guys. Exactly. 
It is. <coughs> so then we so then we started <laughs> and then it went to Amazon and then um, we expanded it from webisodes to 22 minute <coughs> episodes. I'm on the show with him and I produce the show so I'm like I Every aspect. I look at the edits. I look at the final cuts, the rough cuts. I say, put this in, take this out. I'll edit myself if I need to on different he, he's things. He's the Bob. I am. I'll be honest <laughs> with you. He actually is the Bob to this equation, but but you're one of the hardest working people in, in the business, right? I mean, you, uh, so, you were probably so like shooting that. Beverly Hills Pond scene and he, and booking your next... Yeah. Like, <laughs> He's my, yeah. he's my uh, director. He's my <laughs> husband. He's my partner. Mm-hmm. He's my agent. He's my booker. He's my producer. PR, all of it. PR. And everybody always asks me, how do we get on the show? I go, you got to sleep with the producer. <laughs> I know I am. <clears throat> so oh he's gosh. all that. He gets 80% of the profits? 80%. No way. No, 90. No, he gets only 10%. <laughs> Snow White gets the rest. Yeah. Her kibble's expensive. Well, yeah. Snow White actually, I think, has more followers than any of us, all of us put together. She has her own Instagram page. She yes. does. Snow White 90210. Yes. And I'm happy to say that she 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 remembered me when I saw her. I haven't seen of you guys in a while. Of course. You're Auntie Corey. Whenever we travel, we bring her to your I house. I would watch this dog and, and she and doesn't like anybody. And we don't like bring her to just anybody. You I know. know that. I know. Look at her looking at me. She She'd be like, that's right. Girl. And that'd be funny. We'd be all over the world. Be like in the Philippines or something. And Corey, would, you'd send me a picture. You're lunching in Beverly Hills with Snow White. <laughs> and she was getting more attention than I ever did and ever will. Yeah. But uh, that would have been where you'd impose the Barry White. <laughs> He's behind Snow the White. curtain He's... too deep. We need to bring him a little forward. <laughs> I know. We have too many sound effects that's going funny. on. Um, well, tell me a little bit about you guys. You have a storefront in Beverly Hills. I've been there for over 28 years now. And yeah. you, the same spot. You literally make all of your own garments. You have by my th- own two hands. With your, I've seen you. I've been, Although I've I, I have for the masks this year, I did the. What did I do? What are those things called? The uh, the elastics. The elast- okay. I put the elastics oh, in. Wow. So I'm kind of wow. doing stuff. Yeah. You're, you're a designer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What are you doing? Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm going to take a picture so I can send it to my kids in school. Okay. Okay. We're taking that now. Well, you guys For those of you, there's a pause on the it. Apple podcast. So I do the elastics. So just when keep doing it. The boutique, uh, last year when we were shut down during COVID, um, like four different times, we kept opening and then shutting, opening and shutting. Um, then we just started taking all his fabrics, expensive fabrics, and turning them into masks. Mm. And then I'm like, oh, let's call our celebrity friends. And I called you. Well, everyone. Was We're keep, sending masks to everybody. I was trying to keep everybody safe initially yeah. Yeah. because I was like, you know what? If this is what it takes, I got some fabric. Yeah. You can't get anything. And I'm like, uh, you probably don't want to open up a package coming from China at this right. point. So, you know what? I'm in Beverly Hills. Yeah. It's very clean. I know. Very clean. So here, I'm going to make some masks and I'm going to send it out. And then we started the thing, buy one, we donate one, and we donated thousands to the homeless and the shelters and um, to the women's battered. Are you still making them? Yeah. Yeah. And through, tell our listeners how we can get them. I now sell all of them on Walmart. So you can go to walmart.com and buy Paula 2 Beverly Hills. Or just go to paula2.com. Now Uh I'm going to expand the line into a bunch of other things that I, I think are you know, items that we could use every single day that are v- really reasonably priced that people can take advantage of. I think we should do something for the homeless. Yeah. We have. It just seems yeah. like we'll there's so again. much. So tell me though a little bit about, because last time I talked to you, there was some some activity that was not great in, in Beverly Hills. Yeah, did we, that affect your store? Oh yeah, the riots on May 31st. It was probably one of the worst things we've ever been through. Um, we left our boutique in the later part of the afternoon with mobs literally being escorted out by police with mobs of people coming crashing like literally five minutes from us as we're leaving. Wow. It was horrible. Can I Didn't explain they? it? Because I think my description would be a lot more clear. Okay. So we have there a big... There were mobs of people? Just a minute. <laughs> we have a big window at our store. And the big window yeah, at our store, beautiful. you can see outside to the street. There's over 5,000 people sitting at the curbside That's alongside mob. Same thing. the floor. 5,000? Yes. Yes. They're like, just sitting everywhere. They're chanting. They're yelling. They're This was their peaceful protest. Not. They have signs, whatever. <laughs> yeah. So I asked the police. I said, you know, I really would like 
to stay in the store. They said, no, you've got to go. Yeah. So they literally had to escort us in our car with a police escort. They made us leave. With the sign. He wanted with to the stay. I'm like, we can't stay here. These to people get, coming. I thought it was my story. Well, your story's a little long-winded. That's okay. We've got some Don't time. Don't interrupt. <laughs> we got so, time. So then we would be able to get out of the, the Bob's gonna little edit area. Bob's going to this down, I hope. Oh, my no, God. Bob is not. looking at he's you. He's going to all this air. <laughs> Bob is l- looking at you behind a curtain going, what the heck's going on? Mm. Uh, Meanwhile, Snow White's gasping for some air in here. <laughs> so Maybe some water. After we got escorted out, it wasn't 20 minutes later that I get a phone call from the alarm company. Yeah. The alarm's gone off. Mm. There, It's a window break. No. We check the cameras. There's people mm. coming in and out. The police aren't responding because yeah. they've got too many people in the city for them to take care of. We called them. They said so we're never not going. There's no problem. They, there's nothing they, they, they can do. They said we're not going out. So nevertheless, they, they came in. They robbed me. They took everything. And it was a day before, mm. a day before we were completely going to open. Yeah. So the inventory that we had taken out had been brought back. Shelves were cleaned up. We, we had emptied our store twice before in the quarantine and the quarantine and, and the pandemic. We closed the store, boarded up, spent money to board up the store, take all the inventory out, and then put it back in two different times. And then Beverly Hills came to us. I think it was like a week or so before we actually reopened again and took the boards down and said, mm-hmm. "You have to take the boards down. It doesn't look good in Beverly Hills. We want they the stores keep, to reopen, well, and we're going to fine you." If you don't take the boards down and put the windows back. And so we did. Go ahead. It'll be your turn soon. No <laughs> I won't say anything. Wait, Paul, what, what do you want to say, Paul? <laughs> well, the fact that when they when Beverly Hills came, there was a very important moment with me in the city in Beverly Hills. Because mm-hmm. they came and they said, Paul, these boards do not identify who you are. Can you put your beautiful gowns and your display back to the window. Otherwise, the looters like, won't see it, and they won't know exactly. what to steal. Yeah. That's I exactly said, what they said. That's what they said. They said, you need to put back the beautiful, glamorous window you usually do. I said, really? But really? This, I'm trying to protect myself. But my point is, they said that to all of the businesses in Beverly Hills. Yeah, but they did it. I don't think the they windows. said glamorous to everybody. They said it to me. Do you see my eye roll if I'm, I'm on camera? Actually, I'm going to take a moment and interject here. We can we can pull a clip from one of the things that I did, a glamour guide with Ooh. you. From, oh, yeah. That was fun. So we can pull that. that clip and we can show the store what it looked like. Yeah. And then I know you sent me some photos as to what it looked like after. Horrible. So maybe we can show a before and after yeah. on the show so you can, you can see just what happened. But I know that a lot of people, a lot of storefronts in Beverly Hills and Rodeo are struggling, or were struggling and have gone through so much. And so I, many have closed since the, the reopening of the pandemic. After the pandemic, so many are gone. There's so many empty spaces in Beverly Hills. But we, we were talking about those before this and yours is reopened now yeah. and you're busier than ever i'm never going anywhere yes. i know and you're busier than ever because people are finally allowed to get married and have, i know and have events. we don't care if you're getting married or not you just need a beautiful gown i know if and you're it, gonna lounge it, it better be not with sweatpants anymore you lounge with a glamorous gown you can't go anywhere with because who cares a lounge gown that's a good yeah, idea because who cares i that's told him idea. when we do reopen <clears> i bet you Everyone's going to come in for your gown and just want to go hog wild and get glamorous and wear full length. And, and it has. It's been nonstop crazy. It's been good. Well, you know, I even sent the masks. Wood. Talking about the masks, I sent the masks to the White House. Yeah. They were the ones that were all being used in the press room. Yeah. Because there was a press go- uh, uh, press briefing going on every single day. <laughs> so my masks were in at the residence. And in the press room. Wow. And he sent them to Trump, but he didn't wear them. Wow. <laughs> we wear don't have. We, well, he was the, <laughs> you know, the person in charge at the moment. So he, he was the president of felt. the United States. I'm going to go ahead and respect him for that in and of itself. Uh, he had a title, yes. <laughs> so he did not, you know. Yeah. He, he wasn't mm-hmm. fond of masks, yeah. so yeah. he decided not to use it. But all his security details. Everybody was wearing all, his masks. Yeah, wow. even the one yeah. that got COVID afterwards. I sent him <laughs> one, the one, one of the drivers. Speaking of COVID, a um, little bit of a segue, but it's actually a little bit more of a serious subject. You know, you had mentioned to me before that you're, um, you, you have a, a plastic surgeon. Yeah. 
And you're you're always doing these fun. You both of you are doing you know facials or mom massages, and you're showing them on Instagram. But your your plastic surgeon, who was you were very close with, Doctor um, Simone, Doctor Payman Simone, one of the top plastic surgeons in Beverly Hills, did my lip lift, did my face lift first a year ago, and then last year did my lip lift. Two weeks later, he did. He's he's totally like Lisa Renna. He doesn't <laughs> care if he has to mention what he's done. Why not? So you can enjoy how pretty it is so you can get it too. Wow. I was offered a butt lift recently. I'm going to take it. Why not? Oh. My, my, <laughs> but Dr. Simone, I want to just finish this because it is serious. He passed yeah, away he, from COVID. He did. Before you do that, my uncle, my great uncle, my grandmother's brother was a piano player and he had his uh, girl singing Bev. And his favorite joke was, this is my partner, Bev. He's had her boobs done, has had her eyes done, had her lips done, had her hips done, had her butt done. Here she is singing, I Gotta Be Me. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I like that. That is good. That's funny. Very funny. Well, Dr. Simone, I'm, I'm going to stay with you, Dr. Simone, because you Simone, did, he, Dr. Simone, Simone lost yeah. his life to COVID. And so, um, you know, it was really, I think that when he reopened and he did my lip lift, two weeks later, he did this girl who came in. And he was very, like with us, I had to do a COVID test. Mm -hmm. I had to prove I was negative. All of that. I had to have my temperature taken. Like the day of the surgery, he's doing my lip before. Had to have my surgery done. Everything. Two weeks later, he does this girl. I don't know what happened, but he was wearing a mask, but I think he wasn't wearing glasses. And she coughed during the ser the, the uh, procedure. procedure in his face. And I think it got in his eyes. A week and a half later. I mean, he's a doctor. Is. He's a professional. So he's used to wearing masks and very protective. Right. Yeah. So the fact that this happened to him... At his office. Shocking. Is beyond belief. I mean. His, it's tragic. It's so sad. I'm so sorry to hear that. When you friends at, in, yeah. at our age, mm -hmm. when you've known them for so long, and there's a special part of you that doesn't have the, the longevity to be able to cultivate another relationship with somebody else possibly the same way. Mm -hmm. Sure. Because you're not going to go through the same scenarios of life. Right. The different stages. It feels really devastating to know you lose somebody just they were healthy and you just mm -hmm. lose them. It was hard for me because happens. I would go in there all the time and he would, you know, do little facial mm -hmm. things, do different things, you know, yeah. liner, lip, whatever I needed to get done. Um, well, and, you guys know it best too. You, you wrote a book, uh, a tribute to one of your very dear friends, Anna good. Nicole Smith. Who, I have the book in my kitchen. I make your pasta sauce probably <laughs> on a every two weeks it's the Isn't best art of spaghetti best? right it's, like it's, it's, if, if, if you if you do nothing else get this book and your pasta recipe because it i i'm not kidding it it has things that i would never put together yeah in this pasta sauce and ariana loves it my daughter loves it um i've got the paste and i've got the you know it's, it's a whole thing the curry yeah. a little bit of but curry. it's so easy to do yeah it's so easy to do but i'm telling you it is a staple and it was anna nicole smith's favorite yeah and so you you put that in the book and it's such a great book too it's a beautiful um, tribute. tribute to her um and so you guys know it best when you lose somebody that's dear to you because you traveled the world with her you designed her gowns they yeah. were on the front covers of all the magazines and you spent a lot of time with her well, and so you, yeah we did i mean you designed her wedding dress all, every major gown on a red carpet he did for her yeah i know Sorry. i miss her too i know yeah. every single day I it's bet. so weird she's still on my phone i still have her on my phone and i still have her on my computer remember we aol <laughs> yeah God, no, i'm really old <laughs> aol we had aol instant messenger and her uh screen name was hot smoochy lips oh that's cute <laughs> yeah that's so cute yeah oh it's it's hard it really is yeah well it's switching to i i saw you guys you guys always are amazing to me because i saw you and was it on a beach somewhere you were just doing a photo shoot cancun <laughs> was it cancun <laughs> yeah, i'm like recently? i'm literally yeah. i'm either like having a hot flash <laughs> or i'm it's just 100 degrees and it's a hot flash i can hear it here it comes boys in front of you <sighs> Um, well, I didn't want to say that maybe Bob behind the curtain didn't turn on the air it's, or something. There's no I don't, air because it's like so on purpose. I can't. Because then you'll get room noise. That's not that loud. Is it that loud? No, you're going to have to suffer. Oh, my ice water or something. He should, I'm like, he should maybe turn it on before people like, get here. I don't know. It's like we We're did have it on. on. I'm schwitzing. We've sucked up all the hot air in here. I'm so sorry, you guys, for our listeners. We've gone off topic. so mean to Bob. For the rest of the podcast, when you hear this low, dull, that's the air so Corey can feel good. That's way too So loud. Cor Corey can? Yeah. Um. <laughs> Do you know what I need is one of those little phone fan phones that go on your phone. That How I about a popsicle? 
Yeah. Oh, I would. Oh, oh my God! Oh. Awesome. Oh. I want a popsicle in forever. I want a popsicle. <laughs> I feel like a popsicle right now with this outfit I love on. It. You knew my wife. You know there's no popsicles in this. <laughs> okay, well, you know. I well, somebody's know. going to Whole Foods. They have no, them there. No food <laughs> from a box. No food from a can. <laughs> well, tell me, Popsicles tell don't me come in a box. where you guys were. When, when you were taking those photos. Oh, so we were in Cancun. We okay. just did a magazine shoot for Exquisite Magazine. Okay. It's coming out next month. Um, well, you know, we write a travel column now, too. Yeah. Oh, tell me about oh, that. Oh, my uh, God. Uh, everywhere we go, everything we do has to go in a travel article. Yeah. Around the world, it's an international magazine. There are several outlets that, you know, we submit it for. And then they get to experience it through all the places that we went and saw and did and well, that's really yeah. great from like a local's point of it's view. like an anthony bourdain you know kind of. show, like we did we right? did we did a cooking class he thought i was crazy he goes we're going to cancun and you're signing me up for a cooking class we're it was my idea to... what are you talking so about you, you gave me so much to hell about cook the cooking yeah class. so you can learn how to cook so you can oh cook my... for me because i don't have any time because nothing out of a box and nothing out of a can from at our house either Got to be fresh. No, from you've the made garden. us fresh pasta when we we came yeah. over. Um, I I don't know when to interject at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if now I. I'm gonna gonna just go ahead. Do you I got to fight to get a word in this one? Now I'm a bad trick. Do I break up the fight, oh, or God, do I just kind of let it roll I'll, and let I'll, everybody, I'll, I'll you know? Everybody has to be quiet for five seconds so I can get room tone. That seemed like Well, I seconds. never thought that was going to happen. I, it <laughs> See, like you even spoke before seconds. anyone said that. Well, because yeah, I was down like over it. three and a half <laughs> seconds. Like, I'm like, who does that for five hours? Well, you're, you're, you guys stay busy. And one of the things that you've done recently is a new uh, men's line. Yes. Uh, which will be released so in it's in the so, summer. It's so hot. Uh, you just it was at the we debuted at the OC Fashion Week. OC Fashion Week, yeah. which I I feel like I've been to that with you guys. Mm-hmm. Right, you have. Yes, I did. I went to OC. I went to OC. Wait a second. I went to OC Fashion Week. Week. No, well, let me just tell you something. No, she went to OC Fashion Week too, and you were showing like four years, like it was. It was downtown. Oh, that was an OC Fashion Week. Okay, you're. I brought Ariana. He's right. (laughs) And the entire show was men in their underwear. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) I I don't know if I should have brought Ariana to this fashion (laughs) show, (laughs) Um, but. Uh, one of the things that you, uh, I've been to many of your fashion shows. Yes, let's give Snow White some water. I knew that was a good idea. <laughs> um, She's very thirsty. Oh, gosh. Well, yeah. She said it. Um, there was a fashion show I went to that was at the Mercedes dealership. I'll have my PA, oh, yeah. I'll have my PA bring up a... Thank uh, you. And um, you just, you know, we'll just... Um, I'll just go with it. You Don't just, worry. Yeah. Don't worry. Uh, it, it, the fashion show, though, is is one of the things that I love about Paul is he takes this giant fashion show on and he makes all of these, I don't know, it was countless designers, countless. Mm-hmm. And it's for charity. Yeah. What is that charity? You've done it how many years? And you did it for... It's for cancer. Yes. We, I do all the all the stuff for Can you cancer. talk about that, please? We're well, the Paula Two Charitable Foundation. My mom passed away from cancer. And after she passed away... Uh, you know, you want to be able to keep a memory alive or be able to really create something that you think is going to help memorialize her in a different capacity. So we started the foundation where then we help with with uh, families that are affected or have a situation that have to do with cancer. We help the kids. So if they need... Um, IV treatments or they need to go to the hospital. We want to open up a little wing, actually. where Because when you go to go get chemo, it's very difficult and it's very depressing. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, the patient's already depressed and has so many issues mm-hmm. and you're going to go in there and it just doesn't feel right. So we want to open up a little section where you can go in and you're not thinking about the chemo as it's happening, but you're being entertained or you've got beautiful... Uh, colors on the walls and you've got things that are happening that are interactive where you could escape like a vacation so instead of going to the to the spa that becomes your spa so you can get a facial organic facial treatment you can get your manicure and pedicure done while you're getting that because everything becomes very delicate 
So of we course. have a lot of. Um, but we've done, but we've stuff. done but so these... many different charities. Like we yeah. did, we uh, before COVID, we did a huge thing called Fashion Gives Back, and we had all our celebrity friends and all of our friends coming to the boutique, donating their designer clothing, and it was funny. They're bringing like. Prada and Dolce Gabbana and Gucci for the homeless. So we well, raised a hundred thousand dollars in clothing we for the homeless dis- shelter. We don't discriminate about any brand. They could have brought in us, yeah. like I say, Target or Needless Market. But they brought it all with all of it. They brought it all. It's great. I take it all. But I actually went to this fashion show and I, listen. Yeah. It's a it's an absolute miracle. I get out of the house with anything on. Just I stare <laughs> in my closet because I'm like a little bit OCD about it. Everything's black in my closet because it's just easy for me to pair and I can I can't spill anything on it. But it, it was amazing to see you put this big event on for charity with countless outfits. I mean, they were gorgeous. I don't know how you find we time to do all of this. Yeah. We had the Beyonce dancers there. Yeah. We had Mr. X thingy there. Well, the, there. the one we just did for OC Fashion Week, um, we opened the show on Saturday. And then on Monday, he closed the show with oh, the finale. Okay. And we brought in a Russian a belly, belly dancer. dancer. <laughs> she, <laughs> actually, <laughs> she actually teaches belly dancing yeah. to the to Saudi, yep. to all the Saudis and the royal family. So she was here and I'm like, what are you doing Monday? She goes, I don't know. What am I going to be doing? I said, you're going to start the show. Yeah. You're going to start getting everybody all riled up at the belly dancing. Oh and we, we, and we debuted dance. the men's leisure wear line, Paula 2 men's leisure wear, which is summer leisure wear. It was really cute, like shorts and uh, uh, cute button down shirt. Really nice. It really cool. I like the patterns. It's fun, funky colors. And you said you guys are going to be um, traveling quite a bit. And yes. what's tell me about that? What's going on there? Is Turkey, this for the show? Well, before we're going before to show, COVID, yes. we went to eighteen countries in one year. Yeah. Oh my god. We did I another. We did another TV show called America's Rising Stars, and we were every. I month remember in that. I was going to say, how, do you guys filming. ever sleep? No. Can I tell you what I'm really doing? <laughs> that's really exciting these days. Please. <laughs> I'm working with Fairfax Senior High School now. Mm, I yes, created I know, a pathway, yeah. not the pathway, but the program, which is or fashion. A fashion. Mm. So it's a fashion pathway where I teach the the high school kids, 9th through 12th graders, fashion in all different mm. aspects of it. You do the program for two years and you can actually go get a job. Wow. And I'm having so much fun, fun yeah. with the teenagers. Oh, my God. Yeah. I like... I, I, I can't believe that I can really teach and get across mm-hmm. the information. We started with 120 kids. We have over 230 kids in the class signed up now. Wow. And there's they a have a fashion list. club. We have a fashion club. Everybody wants to be in the I, fashion I, club. I got a booth at the Melrose Trading Post. Yeah. So we're going to be having the kids there with their designs being sold, actually. <laughs> So it's like really, really exciting. That's wait. Now you just said that. You're, Go Dr. T. Yeah. And, and, he was, and he did this during COVID. He started. So then they didn't have the classrooms open. So he's been teaching. I've been on having Zoom. to do it on Zoom. How did you? How did you implement this? Did they come to you? Did you go to them? What happened? Well, they called me and they said, "Oh, well, because I was substituting, or I was just going in for like you know, uh, classes where I was able to inspire the kids with just." Did you go to FITM? Or, or as a personality. I went to FITM for a yeah. minute, and then Fashion I went Institute to trade, Design, right. trade but he, technical but college. But he's always like at LA Trade Tech. He's gone there as like a guest seminar yeah. speaker. Yeah, so I've done that all fashion. the time. Yeah. And then they called me up and they said, well, no, so you you want to teach. You, you're really going to teach. I said, and I'm yeah, like, I go into how class. are you going to fit the time in for this? Well, I told them, I said, I could do this. Like, you know, I can in the stop. Car you see the eye roll I there? I could just stop. <laughs> and they're like, no, no, no. Like, no, you can't sub. I said, what do you mean? You've got way too many qualifications to just sub. I said, but what does that mean? They go, well, you just come to class. I said, oh, I don't know about that. I'm not sure I could fit that in. They're like, we'll figure it out. Now he loves it. So I went to interview with (laughs) Dr. T and she was amazing. And she's like a, a pistol. And I was like, I like this woman. I think she's really, you know, like, I mean, she's amazing at what she does. She's the principal. Mm-hmm. And when I got to meet some of the other individuals, I warmed up to them. It just felt <laughs> natural. Yeah. I was like, I, I think I could do this. Why not? <laughs> so I started and then COVID hits. 
And then I'm like, yeah. oh my God, I'm supposed to do this on Zoom? What? I'm supposed to change the curriculum? How do I show them how to do Corey, this? this is a man who never is technological. You Listen, know this. I, well, he I had a flip come. phone until he met me and I made him, I broke his flip phone so he could get an iPhone. <laughs> She's doing yoga. I love it. <laughs> She's doing her stretches. Well, it's better than the five minute shot of her butt. Yeah, I know. She's doing her stretches. I always feel very, very, like this dog does not like just anybody. No. So I'm always like, oh, she just gave me something. No, wait, sit, sit. I think well, she likes it. It's cool. Sit. That's what she likes. Yeah. Things. Said, we can't go outside. So that's pretty cool. How many days a week do you teach? What every are you doing? Five, five days a week. Five days a week. And then on the Ooh. sixth day, I've got my club meeting. Oh, five and days at, a week of meetings. And today classes. I have my PBIS group, which we're going to be meeting together because no, we're we only have you. We're for doing few, ooh, not so very much long. stuff. Like, but I love it. I can't tell you how inspiring it is to see the teenagers yeah. in high school. With all the stuff that they have to go through, one, and let me tell you, I have a 99% return. Mm -hmm. Every single kid comes to class. We're engaged. I enjoy them. They, they teach me so much every single day. I'm just like loving it. Well, you bring a special energy too. And these kids are online all day long now. They don't get to go out. They don't get to do no. much. They're really no. stuck in front of this monitor and so to have someone like you you know with the enthusiasm that you have and and your heart obviously is to help people and to, to i'm just loving it I but know, Keita, like, i don't know how you have more time for that like i don't know it's and is it an hour every day what no it's like a whole day thing oh it's all day yes. i started eight i don't finish until four <laughs> how did i get meetings you today? after meetings after meetings how did he I was get... out in the car teaching on zoom the before teaching. the interview I know. Because, because i didn't i had his lunch no, I have office hours right now. Okay. That's what we're doing because I there wasn't anybody in my office hours. That's okay. The, uh, Dr. Lunch before. Wait, Dr. T, I'm sorry. This is my <laughs> office hours. <laughs> no, that's that's really awesome. Definitely. I mean, to be able to give back in that capacity during this time too. You know, kids are, are struggling. And the and kids are smart. Oh, like, yeah, they're amazing. Looking at the things they're doing, it's pretty cool. Oh, no, it's As great. And no. the stuff that they turn in. College amazing. Level. Ooh, Beautiful. I love I that. I love it. They're, That's they're so amazing. Great. That's yeah. great. They're amazing. One of the students came up to me in my office hours and said, for four years, I didn't know what I wanted to do until they. I just signed up for the class. And now I want to be a designer. Mm. I want, I love <laughs> what you have taught us. I love what you're showing us. And Aww. the inspiration is amazing to me. That's I love beautiful. That. You'd be a great teacher too. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I would love it. You got to come mean, be on our show. Yeah, I will. You I, really well, have to come be on our I show. I was just we'll telling you an wedding. idea. I like, I'm, I'm, you know, I've never been able to. I've been married twice I and I've never that. gotten to wear a wedding gown. You know, we're going to get married next year. And, and Well, then I, maybe I'll just wear the gown to that. <laughs> oh, my God. It's a white wedding anyway. Perfect. <laughs> I'll After, wear my can wedding gown You, bring, you can't wedding. wear a wedding gown to somebody else's oh, yes, wedding. Of course, of course you can. After 18 years, we're finally going to get married. Can you bring a what? I'll make a white curtain for Bob so he can. Be yeah. Yeah. <laughs> with the curtain <laughs> behind the curtain behind you coming in. Exactly. Have her as one of the bridesmaids and make her a bridesmaid. She yeah, will yeah. be. She's going to wear white. There yeah, you go. <laughs> I'm not worried about it. Why not? You white. can wear a wedding dress to our wedding. I, I think amazing. so too. Yeah. Listen, I'm not one of those brides that's going to, that you think you can out to. <laughs> I know the best. <laughs> I'm not worried about it. You I, be the best you you can be. I yeah. have my, I already have a picture of what my dress looks like. Oh, so cool. I know what I want. And okay. so, so I'll just, maybe it's like, you know how Kevin Costner said in Field of Dreams, build it and they will, they will appear. I'm yes. going to use that word. Design it and I will wear it. Yeah, design it, it and I will wear it. But also, you know, if I design it, it's like, you never know. Yeah. Right you're putting, you're putting it out there. Wait, the right guy has to come along, Corey, because uh, not everybody's going to be lucky like me and have the perfect, perfect thank husband oh, so that I want to kill every other minute. <laughs> I but, think but Corey, you need to you need to bring your your guys by us for approval. Yeah, why don't you do you that? Dinner. Well, I have an actual show that that somebody well, I won't say the network would like to do, uh, and so so I'm working on a whole. Uh, it's a you got to you got to have thing. the guy meet the friends first. I mean, exactly. We well, knew Colton was gay before he came out. I mean, seriously, the way he grabbed me at the airport, oh I knew it. I was like. This seems a Can I ask more, a question? Okay, yeah. so we're talking about the Bachelorette, and there's yes. been some breaking news. Um, I don't, I don't know when this actual episode will air in a couple weeks, but it'll be considered old news by then. But Colton <laughs> from the Bachelor, I don't know what season was it. 
Two years ago, right? Two years yeah, ago. He was the bachelor. And I'm sorry, he was he, he was, was the, the one bachelor. who won. Yeah. yeah. No, he was the bachelor. Yeah. He, he was the bachelor. The he picked the girl. I, can I just He say, was the virgin. Right. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Well, I mean, you I'm know. like, don't you know what count as not being one? But you know, you know what's weird, though. Don't what's they really? ask that question in the pre screen? Yeah, but you know what's weird? I think that I, the thing I like about this and that him coming out, and when we first met him, we both said we thought he was gay. We did. And I'm glad I mean, he came on out. TV, we knew he truth. was gay. But I think it's then hard. When we, then when he touched me, I knew for oh sure he was. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> But it's, but I think it's hard for the thing I want to say is that for this industry, even though we're in the year 2021, it's really hard for someone as a gay person to come out and live their truth and live their life because well, they're, they, there are certain roles they won't be booked for or called for or there's a certain connotation about it. Do, and I, do you think it's especially hard when you've just played a straight man yes, dating, dating 25 women 100%. that thought that they were going to spend but, but the rest of their playing. life with them? He just didn't know. That's he was, the being, himself and, he so, was uh, being himself. And yeah. He was being himself and he hadn't figured it out yet. Okay, that's right. what was my, that was actually my question yeah. oh. is... that uh, That's what I want to get to is yeah. he didn't know. He didn't know. Okay, fair well, enough. Well, he did know. He just didn't know what he wanted enough. Okay. Or no, I don't think you. I think you know. It. You're like you. When I was you struggling with it, you struggle with it, and you struggle with should I come out? Should I live my life? Like you, you know, you're attracted to men, but you can't be. I like same thing with him. He's R- Roman Catholic. My family Roman Catholic. Like it was against anything for me to be gay. And then when I finally came out and and I told my parents. Um, and that was after I was married to a woman, divorced, had a child, and then with, with you know, and met someone. And then my parents were just like, I was shocked at how open and accepting they were because the Catholic faith, they're not. Well, there's it's a condemned. lot of stuff that You're going to hell Catholic if you're gay. Faith. There's a lot going on in that Catholic faith, so I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm gonna. <laughs> if you I'm compare gonna, that show, to you, it's a little. <laughs> the show is the Coriolis effect for a reason because we, we invite people of all. Of whatever they want all to what, come on, like, of just of what? all beliefs and like yeah. you know, I'm I'm not I'm so not all lifestyles, all beliefs, all yeah. opinions, uh, all well, political opinions, it's, and it's, all, everything. Everyone's welcome, right? And We're I and I'm planet together. Yeah, I'm absolutely. not gonna judge, and and I'm not gonna stand in judgment. And the Bible is very specific on that. And you guys know me. You guys, I constantly get prayer requests. I mean, pray we prayed with you. We a prayed times. together, and, and your bi- prayers are always answered. Yeah, by the way. thank you. That that. That's beautiful. But the Bible does say, take the plank out of your own eye before you start poking it into your brothers or your sisters. And that's where I like to stay and live. And yeah. I'm not, I'm not, I mean, I'm guilty of, you know, being frustrated with someone or whatever, but it's true. And and I think that, you know, today, especially nowadays with everything going on right. worldwide, politically and, and uh, racially and, and religion. Sure. We need to stick together. But you also remember when he was attacked in a hate crime for being gay at the fashion right. show. That's right. We prayed together after yes, that. Yes, we did. When he was in the yes, hospital. We did. We did. Yes, we did. It in was season, horrible. In season two, when you watched the series. And we put it the in the series, show. Episode seven and eight. It was a two-part uh, mm. two part series. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When, you, when I got to watch it back, because I lived it, I didn't know how the, it was going to come out. And I didn't know anything how they were putting it together Mm -hmm. i actually sat there and i cried Mm. because it was so emotional to see someone go through something so brutal in front of children and for me it was hard because i was producing the show as well and i'm working editing and working with the editors and putting it together and i'm watching it before he even seen it I was in ball, like bawling, trying to figure out, oh, oh my God, how am gosh. I going to, our show's funny. Our show's a comedy. How am I going to make our show, which is funny, not so deep and dark and depressing because he's attacked in a homophobic hate crime. But then I thought to myself, it made worldwide headlines. I've got to put this in the show. Yeah. And we did. Yeah. And, and we actually submitted that episode for daytime Emmys. Mm. So we'll know in two months if we get nominated. Fingers crossed. Knock on wood. Well, it would be nice if you did because you could shed some light on right on the subject and and hopefully bring some healing to to people and that's what i mean i think people are like colton are afraid to come out because of there's still that connotation out Mm. there and there's still people that hate gay people one of them attacked him and Mm. it's still there sorry paul i do remember praying and god did answer our prayers so you're here today 
And you're a beautiful, wonderful person. I'm not going anywhere. No. You're trying to take me down. No, and I'll be honest. <laughs> Go for it again this, and again this, and again. <laughs> this is the first time, I'm just going to say this on the air, that I've seen you with some stubble, and I like the scruff. <laughs> I have not seen you with stubble before. It looks good. Um, I hate the stubble. He needs to shave. That's oh, okay. It drives me crazy. You guys are so funny. I shave like every day. It drives him crazy. Why are you? I'm like, I hate I'm facial. like, give your skin a break. No, I hate Yeah, facial. it's good. You know, men get to exfoliate every day with the whole shaving thing. Women kind of just, I try to scrub my face off with the, you know what I use? <laughs> what do you use? This is a real fun fact. I use an egg yolk once a week. Really? Mm -hmm. And I, if you, if you think about the, it, an egg the yolk. The white area? The yolk. The yellow. the yellow area. And I'll tell you why. It's unbelievable. And do you mix it with anything or nothing? Nothing. I literally put it on my face. And if you think that if you put an egg on a car, mm -hmm. it'll eat the paint. Yeah. So if you put the egg yolk on your skin and then you slough it off a little bit, your skin is literally glowing. And it also infuses the vitamins and, and the so how beta long carotene. Do you, do you, beat it it, you beat the egg yolk first, though. I, I just... <laughs> that was Bob. Three days. Um, I leave it on until it dries and gets cr that cracky. Yeah. And then I kind of exfoliate it a little bit, like just rub it off, and then I rinse it with warm water. Wow. And you don't smell like an egg? No, you don't smell like an egg. And I get the eggs from the farmer's market because the yolks are just real yellow. And I'm telling you, we did okay, it Okay, so next show. time we're going to have to do it together. We're doing it's an amazing. egg, yolk, ma egg it, yolk mask. It tightens okay. and firms. I love it. It exfoliates. All the things I love. It infer <laughs> infuses vitamins. Like it's, it's just amazing. Um, I know I'm being time sensitive here because, oh, Ariana texted me back and said, so cute. I sent her a oh, photo. Oh, she did? Oh, oh, nice. We'll have, we'll have to send her a photo of all of us. Um, yes. So before we kind of... I know uh, you have to get out of here by 2.40. You, I had two minutes. Okay, let's go fast. Why did you be out of here? It's 2.38. Okay, so but let's just finish up because I know I gotta log he's got up to yeah. the meeting. Okay, so you can have an have extra three, three minutes. So we, we do, do a, three know. questions for both of you guys. Okay. okay so are we going to do them separately on this or together? I'll do, them to, do them together. Okay. So tell me, first of all. Um, Bob, and the your, curtain has spoken. Actually, I'm going to do something a little bit different. Okay. <laughs> I love him. The Iron Curtain. I usually ask people to de to use three words to describe themselves. Three words to describe. But I'm going to actually ask that you guys. We share a brain sometimes. That you guys, um, you guys describe each other. So you describe Paul in three words, and you describe Patrick in three oh, words. Oh no! Okay. You're going to tell the Patrick. truth. Yes. Huh? Oh. I said his name wrong again. Patrick. Sorry, I'm so, so sorry. So I should describe oh, him in three answer. words. Yes. Or three words that describes him. Loving. Passionate, sensitive. See, now uh, you can't go negative. You got to stay. Yeah, you got to stay there, right there, brother. Yeah, <laughs> that's beautiful. Now I got to change my words. No, you can say I'm a bitch, <laughs> bitch, and bitch. I was, gonna say, I was gonna say bitch, bigger bitch, and biggest bitch. No, I'm kidding. First of all, that's um, like <laughs> you say that word, and it's no, like he says you're... it with a z at the end. Uh, it's like gotcha. a, it's like an endearment. No, uh, three words to describe you. Yes. Me, yeah, generous. Oh, that's right. That's sweet. That's true. Um, don't take words out of other people. You're supposed to describe me. That is true, though. Controlling. Okay, that's true too. Don't be honest. <laughs> you know, I control situations, not you. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. What's next? I don't mind being controlling. I worked very hard. I to mean, be you that do, way. and you were successful. Oh. So, hey, he's such a beautiful heart and face. That's right. Thank and you. Spirit. I love this. Oh. Is that three or is that oh, one? That's oh, beautiful. That's yeah, beautiful. I'll we'll take them all. He, he, he flunked math. I'm a teacher. I can tell you that. <laughs> okay, so I'm sorry. You got him backwards. Well, you know, I... With history, oh, my God. Subject, this oh, Bob oh. the Curtain is making Corey. Okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> OCD. Okay, so oh, I'm a, so you guys are going to do the Rorschach test. Wait, Mr. Controlling said I'm uh, doing yeah. something wrong. Exactly. Okay. <gasps> You're going to do the Rorschach test. I'm, Rorschach? I'm Rorschach. It's the inkblot test. Have you ever done this? Ink no. Test. So I'm going to lift up a picture. Okay. And, then... and you guys are just going to blurt out right away what, what you see. think it looks like. Oh. Oh. Okay. Are ready? It's both at the same time as fast as you can. And okay. one. Spider. Butterfly. Spider and butterfly. Spider, spider. spider. Patrick said Patrick said spider. Ugh. Paul said butterfly. Uh, Eagle. E oh, I, oh, uh, shield. Okay. Oh, ooh, good. I like that one. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, two people touching each other. It's a mirror. It's a chicken. It's a chicken. Chicken in the mirror. It's, an it's elephant, a temple. But... Okay, that's beautiful. Wonderful. Oh, what our bedroom looks like right now. Oh, <laughs> <Exactly>. crocodile. <laughs> Crocodiles. Crocodiles, okay. 
Last one. Oh. This looks like two people sitting on a cloud, floating in space. Where do you see cloud that? space? <laughs> yeah, look. See, that's a person. That's I see a person. It. I see this it. is the little vessel that they're on in the cloud. These are little clouds. <gasps> in space. Patrick style. Oh. I think it's a Patrick, what did you uh, say? I think it's a Bob, you're killing me. What is it? What is, no, no. What's the, the symbol on the, on the shield? Coat, coat of arms. Coat, coat of arms. You said that. Coat of arms. I like that you're I did. I said shield. A shield Same and coat thing. of arms are two different things. Same thing. Take a minute while they fight. Some more? So do we win? Are they two yeah. different things? You, you you every, every answer was spot on accurate. Wait, is it two different things or the no same right thing? Coat of arms and shield. So, no, but coat of arms really is the design. You on put the it on the shield. Yeah. Thank you. But you can put a coat of arms on anything. Put it on the clothing. The Exactly. Yeah, but there's no shield without a coat of arms on it. So it's it's the same. Oh, my God. Did they teach you that in Armenia? I'm trying to be special. I'm trying to be... Um, what is it? Wait, I want to try this on you. I want to know what you think. That's oh, not that we oh my God, he's so... I want to know what you're going to say. <laughs> is this the right way? No. <laughs> switch, switch, switch. Okay. Oh, he's such a bitch, right? Oh, yeah. I told you, controlling. Quickly, what do you say? I this see is? two angels. Oh, interesting. Oh. Wow. I see two elephants that have come together, and I'll show you why. Do you see the little elephant? Oh. See the little nostrils right there, the elephant? Oh, yeah. Gee, I don't yeah, see that. true. It's interesting. Is this all the same Again, picture? I see two elephants no. in this one. Playing okay, patty somebody cake. needs Actually, these an elephant. Actually, these are two little bears. <laughs> two little bears. Playing patty cake. Patty, oh, playing patty cake. That looks like a chicken with a little rooster Wait, thing. Stop. I don't like this one. I'm actually not going to respond. Oh, to wait, that what one. is this one? I've never liked that it. That looked like Star. Oh, it's a castle with two dragons. On the I side. see a demonic picture. It's a devil. Which, that's to me, what, it's, it's like the devil. The, from that, now I see the devil. That's why I said it. Looks I don't like that picture. one. Okay, so I've never liked thought, it. Okay. I and and this one I see a little fox. A fox. Wow. See the little fox face down on the on the bottom. A oh, fox. Yeah. Oh, well, what about the rest a of it? A little fox face. That's just his body. That's the rest of the fox. Yeah, it's oh. the rest of the fox. <laughs> oh my say, god, these are the eyes. Cute. I see the, the fox. nose. Yeah. Oh, like a I didn't even yeah. think about that. I want to say something though. You're the it's first person in 26 episodes that has, has actually turned it on me. So thank you. I'm controlling, <laughs> right? Yes. Yes. Thank you. I did describe in, a word. A good you way. asked me to describe him. In a controlling. Way. Yeah. Well, I did want to know no, your opinion. No, that was in a good no way. way. There's Thank no you. reason. It's, this, is a, this is a dual. Controlling. Story. It's Thank called you. controlling. Shut up. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you. Our first spousal abuse on our show. <laughs> The you. next time we come back, you're gonna have to come back for couples counseling or something. I actually have a really great counselor. They're not, gonna, call. They're not calling you back. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you're not coming back. Last this question. will be your exit oh, forever. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Your turn, Chloe. Why do you speak? <laughs> no, no, no. You no, are no. the host, even no. though controlling here always has to have the last word. This well, is my I have show. One I can't say a word question. against yours. I'm actually just trying to get Paul out of here on time. <gasps> um, no, I'm fine. I'm the last question would be. Uh, for both of you. Okay. Um, and present company has to be excluded on this one for various and obvious reasons. Okay. But who is your celebrity crush? You can't say each other because that's like you're both celebrities. So. Oh, like do you want to sleep with? No, or no, you no, just no, 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 dress? no. Just like you fancy. Oh, I fancy somebody. <sighs> who do I fancy? Look at Snow White looking Oh, at I know who he fancies beyond belief. Can I say who he fancies? Yes, oh. please do. Who's your best friend from Australia? Who? Your best friend from Australia, the real tall guy, goes like this. He's Oh, uh, you're talking about Oh my god, just because the I killed <laughs> who myself. Doesn't? The one time I could have gone home with him and I didn't. Damn it. That's that's another you story. Need to know that story. <laughs> You need to know. And it now we're having these guys back on the show. <laughs> I actually want to edit that out. I'm not giving out anything like that. But it's that. true. No. Anyway, no. Um, it is true. No, um, let's go. Let's <laughs> pick that up and edit that out because, yeah. Oh, were we supposed to be like behaving? No, oh. no, no, no. I just don't <laughs> want to sure like. Um, so. To, <laughs> actually, but, I'm going to leave it in, but I'm going to beep the guy's name. Okay. That'll be funny. Yeah. Okay. And so who 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 is who is yours? Gee, I don't even know. I, I don't have one. They do. I really don't. Oh, Ooh. my God. I would say Betty White because she's yes. just so amazing. Yeah. She's so wonderful. That's a really she's good She's just one. so amazing that I, I've learned so much from her. And just you know the a way fun she fact is. about her? She's, she was the, only, the oldest person to ever do Saturday Night Live at the age of 88. Really? Mm -hmm. All right, so I have a question for everybody in the room. Okay. 
desert island, you can have three things. What are the three things you have on your desert, desert or stranded island? Me? Oh. Yeah. Uh, Ariana. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Ariana. Hey, you're probably the uh, last uh, place you want to be is well, stuck on people, an island with people your mom. Or things. What things would you bring with you for if Not you're people. stranded on a desert? No. Okay. Three things to you should want to have on a. Uh, you're stranded on a desert island. What three things do you want with you? An endless supply of aquanine water because I don't think you can drink. <laughs> Holding it the wrong way. Oh. <laughs> Drop the product product placement. <laughs> That's just great. Drink seawater. Um, you caught me off guard here. Um, I would like. Uh, an endless supply of food and uh, my Bible. Okay. Patrick? Oh. Um, Patrick. Snow White comes with me, right? She's not a thing. She's a person. Right. So, no, you case not. You're there. You with mind me. if I put this up here? Um, no. For me, my three things on a desert island. Okay. My iPhone. Definitely. Like, I could not live without my iPhone. Okay. You better um, ask for internet then. <laughs> <laughs> a router. Oh. I know. Uh, Oh, iPhone, yeah. Um, Versace shoes. <laughs> and the skimpiest damn bathing suits that I will look good in to tan in every day. Paul's starting his class. Paul, three things on a desert island. Three things on a desert island. Um, Can you food. Know? Yeah, I'm with you. I like to eat. Food. There's food on the yeah. island. You don't have to bring it with you. Go, yeah. yeah, it can be anything you want. There's food on the island. How about a chef then? Forget it. So we don't yeah. have to cook. Your ring. <laughs> oh, definitely my ring. <laughs> and I think a boat. To get I off? Would, to get off the boat island. on the island. No, You're stranded, raised... which means you can't have a boat. No, but he said you, 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 you can have, have, have anything you want. I want a boat because I want a luxury oh. boat. I can sleep in it. I can hang out in it. You know, did you watch Gilligan's a... Island? They didn't have a boat. Yeah, they did. Just had a hole in it. You know, there is a correct answer, right? They did have a boat. What is it? A plane, a runway, and a pilot. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's a trick question. First of all, that comes from um, who? Uh, Sorry, I, I forget. I forget his name. John somebody. Um, but they were interviewing him. He used to do the Daily Show. Mm -hmm. John Stewart. Okay. And oh. they said, they said, uh, you're on a desert island. Uh, one book. What book would you have? He goes, How to build a boat with no tools. Oh. That's so great. That's See, a really I great would, question. I would want a bathing suit, and I would want great shoes. Well, no, you know. I would want food and a boat. <laughs> food is already on the island. Your partner's on a bikini. I don't know why he needs a bikini. <laughs> There's nobody else around. Yeah. <laughs> even even Curtain Bob says he mm. don't need a bikini. Curtain Bob, you guys are killing oh. me. Um, I can't. I, I I know you're you're logging on to class. You're about to teach, but I want to well, say I thank you for coming today. No, continue. no, no. We're we are I love you guys. I can't thank you for not for we coming. We love by you today. too. And I will come on. And your, if I'll this come is the only way show. I can get to see you, I'm there. No, I'm gonna come on your show. Yes, yeah, down and out in down. Beverly Hills we're gonna, we're and Amazon gonna, Prime Video. We're gonna make, I'm going to send you a photo of my the, what, my dream wedding gown. That would be a fun episode to shoot. Wouldn't it? Yeah. I know, because I've never gotten to wear a wedding gown. Well, let's do it. So okay, it, even twice. If, I never got to I, I never got to wear a wedding gown at either one of them. You didn't wear a wedding gown either? When you wear a wedding gown, that marriage will stay. Amen. We'll stick. I love For you. Sure. Jesus oh name. I love you. We Thank find you, guys. you a man. And I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I have a dog. I have a dog and I'm so good. Um, well, you, we their whole so class is well, watching this. No, are, <laughs> this is actually the dean. Can I say but hello? But they can see you, right? Yeah. Can I say hello? Say hello. Well, Hi, guys. They're not on the you mute, you yeah. muted them. That's my principal. Oh, my God. Hold what? on. What Dr. T, I just talked about you on a podcast. <laughs> I thought you should know when I talked about PBIS, by the way. <laughs> by the way. Oh, you couldn't hear me. Sorry. You muted her. Oh, my God. Well, I thank you, you guys for I coming. Up with every I know we're 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 <laughs> wrapping up here, guys, and I thank you for coming out today, and I love you. Right. So. Love you more. <laughs> Let him teach his class on a podcast. <laughs> Did we cover everything? Is I there think something we, we did. Didn't I think cover? We, we really did. We did. And I, look, first of all, we're gonna have you back, so okay. don't worry about it. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, we'll have you back, and we'll air the episode of Gown and Out that I we make the dress for. Yes, that'll be fun. I, I'm. I. Uh... <clears throat> Snow White. Bye, Paul. Bye. I love you. You guys continue. Okay. Um, Patrick, thank and then you. There were three. Yeah, well, I was, is it, we're going to take pictures. Where do you go? Yeah, we I will take pictures. And, okay. and um, oh but God. thanks for ha for coming out today. Of and course. Good you know what? I love coming. you, baby. I love you. What's on the table? So you know we're My going to Dubai and Turkey. So maybe you want to watch her a little bit when we're done. Well, <laughs> I'm gonna, I have to tell you something. Yeah. And it's nothing personal. Yeah. I watched a friend of mine's dog, and um, it died. 
No, it got attacked. <gasps> and I've never oh, watched a dog since. Oh, but not by your dog. No, by somebody oh. else's dog. Uh, and it it sent you. me literally into a traumatic mode yeah, that I was course. I was literally bawling for the whole time. Is the dog was, okay? The dog's okay. Oh. I was we were in the uh, I was a whole thing. Yeah. But I I said I'm not watching any. It, I was so anxiety that I I just do not want to. Yeah. I'm so um I'm wrapping it up and I'm saying thank you and I love you. <laughs> love you too. And I'll see you on the set of Gown and Out in Beverly Hills. And we're out. <laughs>